It's B103 Hip Hop Conference presented by Foot Action, and that's what's up. I'm here with Jason Jeter. How are you? I'm doing really well. How are you? It's so hard to, like, you know, like, actually catch you. You know why? Because you're always here, 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 here. There's so many things going on. What's going on now? Like, bring me into your world. Where have you been? Yeah, I've been, I've been, I've been you know, somewhere in the kitchen, working, cooking up, you know, uh, between music and between fashion and between, you know, trying to be a father and all that stuff, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm everywhere. Okay, so, of course, because this is a hip-hop conference, we're going to be talking about what it takes to maintain, not just maintain, but really thrive in the business, and that's one of the things you've done, but it didn't come without sacrifice, it didn't come without riding. Of course. You know, I saw you in the studio, and then I saw you at the Tyler Perry house, and then, of course, you're in your store all the time, so yeah. just break down for me um, the clothing line, what's going on with, with your store, with... My store, I actually closed my store down a few months back, you know, for me I wanted to focus on wholesale and marketing and building content, things like that. But on the fashion side in June, we got a cool, I have a hustle game, you know, strive as well. So it's just a constant juggle, just like on the music side, whereas, you know, there's Grand Hustle, Hustle Game, TI, and B.O.B. I work on the management side with a, with a very talented kid named Chris Webby, a kid named Issa, you know, just different artists, man. It's just so many acts, and for me at this point, I just want to, I just love working with people that I actually genuinely, sincerely want to work with, no more than anything else. A lot else. of people really don't understand, like, okay, so I knew that the store closing probably has to be inevitable because of digital, right? I mean, yeah, it's easier to yeah. actually sell clothes online. Yeah. And you have to like be able to change with the times, right? Yep. yep. I mean it's very true. I mean like now, like you said, like you got a store, you got overhead. You got yeah. you sitting there and you're waiting you gotta for watch the money too. You gotta watch the money, exactly. You gotta watch the cash register. You know, so for me juggling, trying to just do so much it's really just, I felt like it was a smarter idea, a smart approach for me to fall back from the physical store and just really focus on online sales for real. You know, because like you said, like, you, you put out a piece of content online and, and runs on blogs and you'll see immediately, you know, people come into the store, but if you can really focus on online and it'll just be multiples of people coming to your website versus coming to your store. Since we're talking about online and capitalizing off of that, the music industry has definitely changed and I saw firsthand being a music director, you know that yeah. how labels will call me and say, Oh okay, well what's what's popping in mix show or what's doing this or what's that and then they were watching like YouTube or whatever. I don't, I don't think I've ever seen, I haven't seen anybody actually get signed off of a demo in a very long time. Nah, me either. Like you said, that, that whole way of doing business is just done for the most part. You know, now it is. Yo, yeah, what's your name? All right, cool. Online, website, Instagram, <laughs> Twitter. Like, who are you? How many views you got? Like, it's, it's totally that these days. And I think it's, it's, it's good and bad. It's pros and cons to it, you know? So how, what are you doing, like, to change your strategy to, you know, because you obviously adjusting, and I'm going to ask you about the reality shows next. Change my strategy as far as what? As far as uh, um, looking at talent? Um, I think it's a combination. I think it's online, but I think that you still got to meet a person, too, and I think that due to so many people getting signed off of one online methods, I think it kind of like takes out the whole star factor artist a little bit. Yeah, the artist development and the artist really like being a star. So therefore you have like a lot of records that are just momentary. You know, just moment, just for the moment. You got a one little single, little hit record. I know he's going to ask them to come back and, and sing that, like take yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, like, you know. The, the T.I. classic. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's, not, it's not a real body of work. It's just a, a one night stand kind of thing, you know. So I think that that's the, really the, the difference with, for real. Like when you see somebody online, you got to meet them and you got to see what kind of business they really can do. And, and most of the time, honestly, it's like kids getting lucky and they got one record. I love your R&B artists, are you still? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. It's like T.I. I'm mean, yeah, gonna tell you, that, like, show, what kind of makeup are you trying to do? Like, the show is dope. Yeah. He was just like T.I. Like, <laughs> if y'all don't know, <laughs> yeah, he's what's from his Houston. name? Michelle, Michelle, he's from Michelle. Houston, he's dope, real talented. He's so talented, like, he killed on stage, just, I saw him live, like, he, like, killed it. When we talk about artist development, that's exactly yeah. what you're awesome. doing. It's a process, man. It's a process, you know. Like I say, it depends on what you want to get out of it for. You got certain people that are, you know, an app that it might be one record and it might be a great record. And 
utilize it for what it is, but you know, personally I'm into really putting the work and, and looking for more of a career than more of a season. Anything else you want to add to the Anything else? Uh, no, not right now. Not right now? Not right now. Okay. Would you uh, ever do one if like you were like me personally? Dating and it was like, yo, Jay, we want to follow you and your girl. Never. Never? Never. Okay. I just wanted to Never. see if we was going to see, you know, like your <laughs> apartment or something. Never. Never. Never worry. Never worry. <laughs> well, I know what I will see you, and that's on the panel, so thank you for yeah, thank you. sharing thank you the knowledge. Thank you for having me. You went through, always for the support. All right. I mean, I'm glad this is on camera because I never get a chance to see Jason Jeter. That's how quick he moves. He's, he's gone. <laughs> thank you. Be with three.